it's Lizzie all from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today. Today I am uh, going to show you the Bloom uh, Make to Bloom All Inclusive Card Kit. It is on page <coughs> excuse me page twenty of the Spring Summer Catalogue, um, and this is one of our all inclusive kits, and it's huge. I mean, huge. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I have made up all the cards. I have yet to make up the box, but I want to go through with you how easy this is to make up. It comes complete with an ink pad, a block, these lovely stamps. It seriously is enormous. There are pearls. There are dimensionals. It, yeah, I mean, it's just fantastic. So let's take a look. It comes with uh, full instructions, so we've got um, picture instructions and basically you just follow along the numbers. So number one on all of them is to stamp. Uh, number two is, uh, if we look back here, number two is adhere with stamping dimensionals. Number three is adhere with snail and number four is adhere pearls. So you do need snail. Um, but that's the only thing you need to add. And I say you need snail, you need any dry adhesive. So tear and tape, snail, if you've still got some of it, fast fuse. Um, snail obviously is, is really easy to use. So I have yet to do the, the belly band uh, bit, but let me show you the cards. And as I say, it's huge. Look at all this. So those are the, those are the stamps. In fact, let's go through the bits I haven't yet used, because then you can see just how much there is. It comes in this strong bag and there's a piece of chipboard to hold it all together. But a block, um, it's about the same size as our D block. Um, in fact, it's almost exactly the same size as our D block. It's not as comfortable to use as our beautiful ergonomic um, blocks, but if you're a a new stamper this is going to get you started so and I would always say if you're choosing one size block D is a good size to go for because it covers not all our stamps but it does cover quite a lot of them so it's a good size block there is a Blackberry Bliss spot um, which is perfect now with these I do tend to store them face down which is basically what happens with our ordinary ink pads, our classic ink pads. So if I bring one of these in, um, you'll see this, the lid has got the ink pad in, so you store it with the ink upside down. So again, I would store my spots with the ink pad upside down, um, and then when you go to use it, you know the ink's going to be where you need it to be. Uh, so I've got the piece for the front of the belly band, the belly band and the box still to complete. These are the dimensionals that I've got left over. I It comes with two sheets of these dimensionals and there's masses to spare. I mean it's phenomenal. So don't worry about running out of dimensionals, you will have some spares. Uh, this is what's left of the pearls. So again, I have used exactly the same number of pearls as described in the catalogue. So there are extras. So we've got, let's see, 520, 22 spare pearls. So plenty. These are the stamps. Um, I will be putting these probably into one of our half uh, cases, or I may put it into a full size ordinary, so a half wood case or an ordinary um, stamp case. And um, then I'll know where they are and I'll be labeling it up so I know what's in there. The cards, you get four of each with matching envelopes. So this is the first one, and this is where you need snail because this pink section is separate, um, but it's they're foiled, they've got pearls, you've got your stamping, um, they're white on the inside, so it's easy to write. Uh, beautiful envelopes to go with them. So you get four of those. So let me just pile all those up. So that's four. Uh, then you get four of the yellow ones, which are the birthday one. Now you can mix up your sentiments. You've got congratulations, so happy for you. Just a little happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Which are the, the three that are actually used 
for the cards as they are. But you've also got thinking of you um, a little flower here, a floral with a leaf, and then some hearts as well. So you, it's not just the three sentiments. You do get uh, four sentiments and three extra stamps. So you can then go on to make more cards. You've got your dimensionals. You've got your ink pad and you've got some spare pearls. So guess what I'll be doing? Dreaming up some other cards that you can make with what's left over plus some extra bits, probably note cards and envelopes because I like note cards and envelopes. Um, so for this one, uh, the background comes white in the middle, so you stamp in the middle. This is just then printed, so you don't need any snail for that. Stuck on with dimensionals. So again, four of those. And then this, whoops, the last one, which is, again, this is stuck on with um, snail comes foiled, nice piece for the middle, pearls, and then matching envelope. So lots and lots of beautiful cards, but of course you need somewhere to store them, or if you want to give these away as a gift, something to put them in. And that's included as well, because we've got this beautiful box. Now it comes flat packed with a belly band, and as I say, I want to put it together with you. I haven't dummied it up or anything. Um, so we're going to put this together together. There are no amazing instructions of how to construct it, but I don't think it's difficult. I hope it's not difficult. So all you've got in, by way of instructions are that you've got to stick some pearls on, which I've already done. So our 22 leftover pearls are left over including having put pearls on here. And then it says that this gets attached to the belly band with dimensionals. So I will be using a few of the dimensionals for that, um, but we still have, you know, more than half a sheet left. So, so this is how the, the box comes. Um, so it is kind of folded on top of itself. So as with all of our acetate boxes, my recommendation is you then take it and kind of get it working in every direction. There's a seam here, so that you're going to want towards the back. These are the flaps that are folded on top of themselves, but you're going to want to fold your edge pieces in. These are going to want to be folded so that they can um, close flat. This is going to need to be folded so it can go into the box. And then the same again at the other end. So fold your ends in, fold this flap up and crease it so that it knows where it's got to go. And then just crease here. And again, it's all scored, so it kind of knows where it's going. You just have to encourage it to do so. So having got it actually working, I would then suggest that having found where the back is, which is here, you flatten it down again. And the reason I say that is because it's much easier sticking things onto something that's flat. So this has also got creases. So let's crease our score lines or burnish our score lines. And I will actually bring in my bone folder just so that we've got everything nicely uh, scored. So it knows where it's supposed to be going. So this is our back corner. So I would suggest that we take this piece, which is one edge, and fold it round, and then just flatten everything out again, because we know that if we stick that to that, it's going to fit, because flat is the same, something that's 3D is the same size, it has the same dimensions when it's flat as when it's up. So let's not make life complicated. Now I am going to use tear and tape because I think for this it's probably a better adhesive to use than snail, but snail's fine too. Um, just my personal choice would be to use this and as ever I like to use, in fact I'm going to turn it over because I've got this angle and I want the angle to go into the corner there and then press that down and just get my ruler to 
then I'm going to turn it the other way because I've now got the angle going the other way. Um, but it nicely takes two widths of tear and tape. And then just tear that. So that's our tear and tape. Now, trick with tear and tape is to make sure that you actually press it down. Then, when you take the backing off, it actually comes off, which is a bit of a plan. Otherwise, you could find you're trying to take the, um, the tape off as well. And then all you do is, let's just line it so that it's slightly easier to see, making sure everything is tight, just line the two pieces up. And then when you put your box up, you can see it fits perfectly. So, squash it down again. This is our front, and again, I just think it's easier to push down on something that's not up in the air. So just check, it fits just about exactly over the, t over the piece, but there are these little bits that are sticking off the side. So I'm not going to put dimensional right into the corner, not that they would fit anyway. Um, so I'm just going to put dimensionals. I'm gonna be reasonably um, generous with my dimensionals. They're included in the kit anyway, so I might as well use them. Uh, and then just pop them in a few places. This is the outside of the box. Uh, you know, if you're gonna then gift it, you might be wrapping. So I would be more generous than less generous with them. Maybe one more. Um, but I would certainly put them around the outside and a couple in the middle. And then just make sure they're properly pressed down and peel the backings off. The backings come off just as easily as on the, the ones that you get uh, out of the annual catalogue. So they're, they're, they're not exactly the same, they're the same size, but they are, they are the same quality. Um, and just because they're in a kit doesn't mean they are any, any um, less high quality. The backings still like to stick to all sorts of bits of clothing and goodness knows what. So they'll end up in a bedroom, I have no doubt. I managed to walk them all over the house. And the bedroom is about as far away as I can get from where I am now, which is why I mentioned the bedroom, uh, for no other reason than that. So there we are. Then it's all stuck down and just pop our box together, or, you know, make it 3D, pop our ends in. So one end in. And then what I would suggest you do is get a few cards first, rather than trying to sh you know, push them, push them all in at once. Pop a few in so that you're against the flap there because putting it in otherwise is going to be quite difficult. So you're going to catch that flap. So I would always start um, by popping them there and then the rest you can just slide in. And I've kind of alternated them so I've kind of got them topped and tailed and then just close up your box. And there is your beautiful, slide that down a little bit, your beautiful box of cards. And I've got them so you can't see what the pictures are. So it makes a perfect gift in its own right, although you could, of course, wrap it uh, for a full gift. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you found that interesting. I know sometimes these all-inclusive kits can be, for some reason, can be a little daunting, but they are very easy to put together. I did all of the cards while, while watching television one evening, and I think it took me an hour just to... I did mass production, so I did all of the stamping and then put each of the cards together, so I did all four of one at the same time and then just left the box to share with you today. So thank you very much. If you would like to order this, then you'll find a link to my online store immediately below. I sell in the UK. Um, if you use the host code, then you will also get to share in the host rewards for the month. The kit is £25. So if you were to add a few extra items and bring the order up to £45, you would then qualify for a uh, one of the items out of the celebration catalogue. 
because for every £45 you spend or multiple thereof in any order, you get to choose something from the Celebration brochure, which has got some amazing things in it. All I would say is that once they are gone, they're gone. So if there's something that you particularly like, don't hang around. We've already lost the ribbons out of Celebration and I think the foils may still be with us, but I haven't checked today. Um, so just, just be aware that things do go. So this was the all-inclusive kit. There is another kit which is a project kit which comes, I have shown you this before, you have to buy the stamp set and the ink pads separately, but um, another beautiful, beautiful kit. So do have a look at the kits. Um, they are a really good place to start. And as I say, with the stamps that you've got left, obviously forever, and the ink pad and the pearls and the block and the dimensionals, get yourself some cardstock, uh, get some note cards and envelopes that come in a pack. That would then make, you know, you'll need some snail. Make it up to £45, get something free as well, and you'll be on your way to making lots of beautiful cards for a very, very inexpensive price. You can start with this so you get a little, little bit of confidence and then move on from there. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would have any comments or questions, you can either leave them in the comments below here or hop over to my website, which is linked in the description bar. Just click the link that says associated blog post and you'll find some close ups of the cards. Uh, you'll find some general chit chat uh, and you can also leave comments there or find my email address, send me an email anything like that please please do if you are looking to join my team i recruit from any of the european countries so that's germany france the netherlands austria or of course the uk we're already in europe so you would not be alone if you wish to join my team and you're in europe um thank you very much indeed and i look forward to seeing you again soon <laughs>